Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever midweek car camp. As you may know from previous car camps, I've been pretty much working from home now for the past two years, but every now and again, I do need to go into the office. Now, one thing I've wanted to do for ages is car camp the night before I have to go into the office. So essentially, I'm in the destination where I need to be in the morning. Now the thing is, I've been wary about doing this because if I have a bad night's sleep, I'm going to be absolutely shattered the next day for work. But tonight I'm going to give it a go and fingers crossed, I sleep through the night. So what we're going to be using today, we're going to be using my Christmas present, the 12 volt electric lunchbox. So the handy thing with this lunchbox is that it came with two different power sources. So you have the 12 volt power supply and you also have a regular plug power supply. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the food now, put it on the wall charge and then when we go I'll transfer it over to the jackery. So we will see when we get there how well it cooked and importantly if it cooked. That's the car all packed and we are ready to go. So today we are off to Sittingbourne. Interestingly, Sittingbourne is actually somewhere where I've quite fancied car camping for a while. In terms of where we're actually going to park tonight, at this moment I'm not entirely sure. There are quite a few public car parks that do appear to be free overnight, so free between 6pm and 8am. But interestingly, there's another spot and I might check there out first to see what it's like. The weather at the moment feels absolutely freezing, although I don't think it actually is freezing anymore. But to be on the safe side, I have taken our double duvet as well as the sleeping bag tonight because I don't want to be freezing cold. <laughs> Well, I was hoping that I would actually get there while there was still a little bit of light left, but unfortunately it is going to be dark by the time I get there, which is a shame. It's taken us a lot longer to get here than I anticipated. Unfortunately, the traffic at this time of night was a lot worse than normal, but we are at the more interesting of the destinations, and that is actually directly outside the police station, where you can actually park, I believe. I'm gonna check a sign over there because it says parking suspension. So bear with me one second. Well, sadly, the sign says there is no parking allowed here. Actually, annoyingly, it's because they're gonna be doing some roadworks starting tonight at midnight. So I can't park here, which is a shame because it's actually quite a nice little quiet road. And being outside a police station, you would hope it would be even more quieter. So what I'm gonna do, uh, put my coat on, put my gloves on, and we'll go for a little walk and check out the car parks down there. I checked the food before I left and actually it was completely cooked already, unbelievably. And this of course is the super boring thing about it being so dark at the minute. You can't even see me and there's nothing for me to show you because you can't see anything. Okay, so I found a spot. It is nice and flat. It's actually in the library car park. And the good thing is it is free between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m. So as long as I'm out the door at eight o'clock, all is good. 
Well, I think the car park is going to be quite a noisy one initially, but that's because this car park backs onto the leisure centre car park, and there's a lot of <clears throat> families I can hear getting out of the car and heading off over to the leisure centre. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like as it gets darker. Certainly having the police station down there should make it quieter, you would think. So it's definitely quite interesting learning how to use this effectively. So what I've demonstrated is actually to cook all that food from raw only took about two hours when it was connected to the mains. And although I turned it off and I didn't plug it back in when I left because I didn't want the broccoli to become all mushy, actually what I wanted to test is to would it actually stay warm once it was turned off because the lunchbox does come with a little insulated bag as well but I can say that it was stone cold by the time I got back from the walk so it doesn't keep warm but it does need to be plugged in to stay warm now what I'm doing now is I've plugged it in I've put the rice inside and now we're going to see how long it takes to get back up to heat and how much battery life it actually takes to get there. But it definitely is a shame that it was so dark by the time I got here because I did want to go to a country park that I've never been to before but to be honest there would have been no point because it would have been so dark you wouldn't have been able to see anything, I wouldn't have been able to see anything and I probably would have trodden in dog poo and actually that's probably one of my biggest fears when I go car camping and I go walking is that I tread in muck because then I've got to come back to the car and uh, yeah. That wouldn't be very nice at all, would it? Okay, so I'm starting to feel really hungry now. So let's see how well this has done. Well, it's hot, it's cooked, and it's all done. And in the end, it took 20% of the jackery to get there. This has worked really well and I'm really impressed with it. Now what makes this so good is that actually I can add this to my stealth cooking repertoire which previously was limited to the kettle and pot noodles but with this setup it makes it so much better. Well even though I thought it was going to be really cold in here tonight actually my little thermometer disagrees with me and actually I'm rather pleased to say it is very warm in here actually so um, my fears about freezing my nublets off were unfounded. This is a really quiet car park. It's half past nine now and I'm not really hearing any noise at all. Maybe the occasional person walking past, but that's about it. Now, I don't want to do the, the whole usual get out of the car and film and show you what it's like outside because there's too many places where people can see me and I don't want to be seen. I think I've got quite a nice little stealth set up here. So I think what I will do instead is just have a little peek out the window. Well, from what little I can see from this angle, it looks like I'm the only person here. I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing, to be honest, but mm, hopefully there's another car somewhere else. I just can't see them. Well, it's now 11 o'clock and I think it's time for me to hit the sack. I really do hope I have a good sleep tonight because it is safe to say that the only reason why I've put off doing this type of car camp before is because of the fear of not having a good night's sleep. I'm definitely not going to be cold. I think with the duvet and the sleeping bag, I am fantastically toasty. And to be honest, it's not actually as cold as I thought it was going to be. So I will see you all again in the morning. No night. Well, it turns out that all of my fears were totally unfounded, but I do need to get on because it is 7.55 and I need to have coffee and breakfast because I do need to get out of here slightly earlier than usual.
though I was rather pleased that my concerns of the temperature in the car last night were also unfounded. Well, it must be said, I am really impressed with how well last night's meal went. And actually, in total, including the kettle that I've just used as well, I only used 35% of the jackery. So that is rather awesome. And I will definitely be using it again for future car camp meals. Well, that's breakfast done. So I'm just drinking my coffee and I suppose I best get dressed and get going. Okay, so that is it. That is me all done, so I suppose I better go. It's been really good to see I can use car camping for this purpose, so I will definitely be doing this again in the future. But I hope you've enjoyed the midweek car camp special, and until next time, take care.